and welcome back to Know Your Sex Info San Francisco. Alex, if you get two out of the next three questions right, you win. Let's see your grand prize. It's a threesome with two of your starred favorites from Grindr. They've just been tested, everything came back negative, and they've only been drinking water and eating yogurt since their last bowel movement. <laughs> um, uh, uh, what's the, what's the next question? What's the question? Easy, tiger. <laughs> All right. First question. HIV infections increasing or decreasing in San Francisco? They're decreasing. Decreasing. That's right. HIV infections are at record lows. Next question. Bacterial sexually transmitted infections increasing or decreasing in San Francisco? Decreasing? Oh, oh no, Alex, I'm sorry that's wrong, and I'm sorry San Francisco. Gonorrhea, chlamydia, and syphilis are at record highs. All right, only one question left to get the threesome of your wet dreams. Alex, when was the last time you got tested for STIs? Last month. Last month. Wrong. Wow, Alex. Dick move for lying. It's been over a year. I, I meant I was going to get tested last month. I'm sure I'm clean. We really don't whoa, have to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Clean? Check yourself and nice try, but liars don't deserve nice things. That's all the time we have. Alex, get yourself to a click, and this has been Know Your Sex Info, San Francisco. Hi, I'm Alex Liu, here with Impulse SF to talk to you for three minutes about the most up-to-date sexually transmitted infection statistics for men who have sex with men in San Francisco. First, some good news. New HIV infections for gay and bisexual men in San Francisco are at all-time lows. Just 169 new diagnoses were recorded in gay and bisexual men, 19 of which were in intravenous drug users. That's a 65% drop compared to 2005, a much bigger drop compared to national rates. But before hitting that celebratory orgy, it's important to know that bacterial STIs are at record highs. Last year in San Francisco, when it came to men who have sex with men, there were almost 3,400 reported cases of chlamydia. That's a 373% increase since 2005. There were over 3,500 reported cases of gonorrhea. That's a 258% increase since 2005. And there were over 970 reported cases of syphilis. That's a 260% increase since 2005. That means in 2016, gay and bisexual men accounted for 42% of all chlamydia cases seen in the city, 67% of all gonorrhea cases, and 85% of all syphilis cases. So what's going on? HIV infections are at record lows because it's been a San Francisco health policy to aggressively provide HIV treatments. By making sure those who are HIV positive and those who are at risk of getting HIV are taking the appropriate medications, the city has dramatically reduced new HIV infections. So how does this tie into the rising rates of other STIs? It's hypothesized that since medications no longer guarantee that HIV is a death sentence, men who have sex with men might not only be having sex with more partners and more often, but they also appear to be using fewer condoms. Thus, more STIs. One concern today is the rise of antibiotic-resistant STIs, especially in gonorrhea. The Centers for Disease Control released warnings last year that bacterial STIs are developing strong resistance to antibiotics and that we're running out of viable cures. Also, despite record lows, 70% of all new HIV infections in the city are in men who have sex with men, 80% if you include intravenous drug users. If you're concerned about STIs, the CDC recommends using condoms, including during oral sex, and testing every three months if you're regularly having sex with multiple partners. So if you do test positive, make sure to tell all your sex partners. Here are some sites to help you do that. Don't be afraid to ask your sex partners about their last testing dates, and make sure to be honest about yours. Make a plan to minimize risk and maximize fun, and stick with it. It's up to you to make informed decisions when having fun. For Impulse SF, I'm Alex Liu. Remember to know your impulse, live your impulse, and love your impulse.